In this video, we are going to see how a ReLU dies and what is the solution. ReLU or Rectified Linear Units are widely used neuron that helps to make a neural network. Suppose if an input x fed in the network and the input is positive, then it will hold that value as it is. But if the value is negative, then it takes as the value as 0. Or mathematically, we can represent that function as f of x equals max of 0 and n where x is input. This gives several advantages while training a giant neural network like it is less computational expensive unlike sigmoid it need not to compute or do any type of exponential operation during forward and backward passes it is a function that just can be made with a simple if statement that significantly reduce both training and evaluation times let's see how relu actually works during forward and backward pass with this simple example so the input to the z is the sum of input times weight of previous layer neurons and put it into relu activation function so according to the function the maximum value will be considered as the value of z and by assuming a very naive error measure which is l which gives the difference between network's output and the original output now during back propagation when we take derivative of the error it, there will be only two possible values of gradient either zero when z is negative or one when z is positive remember this constraint is only for the above error measure if you change the error measure then the value of one will replace with some other value but the zero will remain zero no matter what the error measure you choose this raises a serious problem how will it learn with a zero gradient means weight will not update even a tiny bit due to zero gradient no matter how many forward backward passes you make so where is the learning in this case this problem is known as dying relu problem in which a neuron is unable to learn or update its weight resulting something like this where a model didn't improve its accuracy even after several epochs so to fix this we have to modify the activation function in such a way so that when the gradient becomes zero the function returns very small gradient that will make a tiny change in weights since the gradient is not absolute zero so after several number of forward and backward passes the network will improve itself now we have a new activation function and it's called leaky relu or leaky rectified linear unit which is a backbone of GANs or generative adversarial networks there are several more functions to resolve this problem but leaky relu is widely used among them so when the next time you are gonna train again don't forget to use leaky relu instead of relu but wait how will you train again well it seems like tutorial of next video thanks for watching